In this file, I created a stair for my project. And you can see that the stair path is incomplete. Let's see what is the correct form of it. If I want to draw it separately, I can do it by detail line. For example, I choose demolished, I choose a line, and I, from here to here, here, and here. And I need just an arrowhead here. This is the correct form of it, and it should be something like this. But if you want to do this, Every time you create a stair, you have to draw a stair path separately. And it's, you know, it's just a waste of time. It doesn't make any sense. Let's see what Revit has to offer for this. I open visibility and graphic overrides. Uh, if I go to annotation categories, and choose a stair path. Open this. There is an uncheck box here above up arrows. If I check this, I can see that a complete stair path just appears. But uh, what about uh, the arrow just we have here? Place the mouse indicator on the arrow and press tap button several times until you see this. And now you can select it. Let's open edit type and see what options we have. Here, there is a box saying that show arrowhead to cut mark. Okay, I don't want it. Apply. Okay, there is no arrowhead here anymore. But what about this arrow shape, arrowhead type? We have many types here. You can choose one of them. And for example, if you choose this, you can see that it's like this. And here we have another option which might be useful for you, full step arrow. If I check this and I press apply, you can see that it is going to be a big one. Uh, and I've changed this to something unfilled. You can see only the lines of it. 